Welcome back to Create for Kid. Today we are making a clay starfish and I love pottery. I love ceramics too. Before this lesson, I learned all about pottery tools. All of our supporters on Patreon get this. Become a supporter on Patreon and get more with each lesson that teaches you more. Tongue twister. There's a link in the description where you can support our channel. Thank you. I already learned all about these supplies and I'm ready to get started. You want to grab your air drying clay. You'll need to have a jar of water and your tools. So you're going to take your wire cutter and you're going to cut off some of your slab here. You can just tie it like that and then you get your thing. That's really your clay. cool. You don't want this to dry so you need to cover the clay when you're not working with it. Okay, so you're going to use your tools, your hand, and you're going to make this into a ball. I probably only need a fistful for this. Okay, and you have to warm up your clay so that it's nice and smooth so you squish it with your hand until it's feeling warm. Okay, and then you take your hands and you form it into a ball by putting it in the middle of your hand like that and rolling. I'm going to rub this clay and smoothen it to make it warm. Right. You want it to be pretty smooth. So take your time. Then you take your hand, make it flat like this, and you smush it down. To make it faster, you can take your rolling pin and smush down with your rolling pin going back and forth. And see how it made this longer here, going this way? You'll want to do that on the other side so it's a circle. And then you want to flatten it. And you can see my hands are very messy. <laughs> Alright, so once you have a pretty good circle here, you're going to take your tool, a finger, and you're going to push in right here, and push in right here, and push in right here. And you see where I'm pushing in? It's going to be right through here on your starfish. Yeah. Your hands are very handy tools. <laughs> yeah, they're very handy. <laughs> Anything looks like it's cracking or getting dry, you can just take your sponge and wet it and smooth it out. So it's kind of looking like a flower right now. Okay, so now we're going to take our little hands here and make pinchers. And we're going to pinch. Make these longer. And pinch. Make these longer. Okay. And pinch. And pinch. Okay. And then we're going to push in, push in, push in, push in, and push in. Okay, you see how this has ridges now? All we have to do is smooth those out with our finger. Okay, and I want this to be thicker right here and get smaller going this way. So I'm going to use my fingers to smush down the ridge and make sure that it's getting smaller at the end. I am going to squeeze these and make them longer. And then smooth out the top, which I need. OK, 
Okay, I'm just using my finger to scrape the top and the sides. So you got it thus far. You're going to take your metal scraper tool and lift up your starfish. And since it's a small object, this works perfect. But if you can't get it all the way to the middle, you can always use your wire and then just go right under it and it pulls it right off. Now I'm going to squish it. And then I'm going to use this handy dandy tool to go right under. So now you want to round out the bottom, round out the edges. because They're nice and round on the bottom. So I'm doing that by squeezing with my fingers and smoothing. See how I'm using my thumb? I'm being very gentle. And I squeeze and I mold with my hands. See that crack right there? That's a good crack. So let's add some water to it. Okay. And then it just fills in that crack. That's another good thing about your towel, besides wiping off your hands, is you can also take your towel and move the clay into that crack. Okay, so this could be the top or the bottom. You see how thick this is? Right through here. Let's just go ahead and smooth this so that it's rounded. Okay, and to do that you're squeezing it so it's not like a block right here. See how that's really blocky? I want it to be a round starfish. So I'm going to do that by kind of rolling my fingers around it. See how I'm rolling it around? Okay, and they're going to get longer because you're moving that clay. So I'm going to make these a lot longer and then I'm going, after I make them longer, I'm going to kind of like twist them and roll them up so they look at, like these ones. Take your time with this step. Now remember that starfish have a lot of character so you don't have to make it perfect. That's what's great about it. This one's curving in, this one's kind of crooked. It's fun that way. Now be creative and add whatever texture you want to your starfish. So you kind of just get to do whatever you want in this step because you get to be creative. Play around with the tools and see what they do. Yay, I made a swirl. rolling out little balls my finger in the palm of my hand smushing it down right here this is just something I decided to add to my starfish you don't have to do this keep going until you want to stop then all you have to do is let it dry because this is air dry clay you're just gonna leave it to dry in the open air but if you're not finished with it you're going to want to put it in a baggie, probably a gallon bag, and lay it flat. Make sure you are very careful when you're moving it. You chose blue as your color, then you spray paint it like this. There's a link in the description below where you can become a Patreon and help support our channel and get more with these lessons. Ooh. Bye! <laughs> Bye! We'll see you next week for another fun art lesson. And I'm a starfish. I'm sorry, I got pumpkin business to go take care of. Chickies! <laughs>